Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Arlo van Grenen, aka Mr. VG, and we are about halfway through this chapter in financial mathematics. Today, we are coming up with another very new concept in terms of interest rates and annuities, which is calculating the periods that is needed for an investment, but specifically using logs. Oh, so before we can actually get there, we must just revisit that if I want to solve N, where A to the N is equal to B, we can rewrite this by saying N is equal to log base A of B, or using what I like to call the circle method. The N goes on its own, the A remains the base, and the B goes into the log. Okay, so that is a very simple way of doing this, okay? But what I want us to have a look at is this example. How long will it take for an investment to double at an interest rate of 13% per annum compounded quarterly? That's a very important one. First of all, try this yourself. If you don't know what to do, that's fine. As I was saying, it's fine if you don't know what to do, but I want you to try. I want you to try. So let's start by asking yourself, what kind of financial sum is this? Well, in this case, it's a once-off investment. So I'm going to use A equal to P1 plus I to the end because they don't tell me it's monthly or it's monthly investments. It's just how long will it take for something to double? So it's a once-off investment. Then I'm going to let my present value be x, which automatically means my a value is 2x. So substituting that in, and now the question is solving n, because I'm asking you how long will it take? So our end goal is getting to the n, but before I can do that, I've got to isolate my 1 plus 13 percent over 4 to the n. I've got to isolate it. So I'm going to divide by x on both sides, which leaves me with that, which I can now rewrite by using that log form. So the n is going to go on its own, and the 13 percent over 4 is going to remain the base, and the 2 is going to go into the log, which is going to give me an answer for n of 21,67 quarters. And that's how long it's going to take. If they ask me how many years, well, that's about 5 years and almost 2 quarters. How do I know that? Remember, there are 4 quarters in 1 year. But let's go and look at another example. Now, this is more of an annuity type of example. Remember this sum? We did it. We've been working on this sum for a while now. But what we are going to look at for this question today is, what if I decide to repay, or if Tepo repays 16,000 Rand per month, how many payments will she actually make? First of all, it's an annuity because it's monthly installments. The payout is at the beginning, so I'm going to use the present value formula. See my decision tree. It's annuities and payout at the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to substitute the values into our present value formula. replacing the P with that 1.5 million. And now I'm going to try and isolate the bracket. So step by step, I'm first of all getting rid of the denominator. After I've done that, I am going to divide by the 16,000 on both sides. That leaves me with that value. Okay. 
of 0, 0,82. Let me just write this in. 0, 0,82 dot dot dot. Okay? Now, I have to remember that I am trying to isolate that negative N. So I am going to rewrite this in logarithmic form. If I rewrite this in logarithmic form, negative N got, now goes on its own. Log of that base, still that remains the base of 0, 0,179. And that gives me a value for n of 197,03. In reality, it means that there's going to be a 197 full payments and one part payment that we are going to look at in a future video, in a next video. But I want you to again think of this. Tsepo makes payments of just 1,000 rand and 24, 1,024 rand more per month. But she saves 43 payments, full, almost 43 full payments because of that little bit extra. And this is the secret to home loans. If you want to know how to cheat the system, pay more per month. This is Mr. VG signing out. Please look at, watch the next video where we are going to, you know, start going towards exam practice. And this is crucial for the success of your financial mathematics. So have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Keep well. Cheers.